for session. And uh, the next talk is given by Professor Kostanyuk. The title is uh, Inverse Ex Extremal Problem for an Anti-Tumor Therapy Model. Please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, dear colleagues, I would like to present the talk titled Inverse Extremal Problem for Anti-Tumor Therapy Model. Uh, my co-author co are uh, Professor Christina Kutler from Technical University of Munich, uh, Christina Koschel and Professor Alexander Chibadarev from Far Eastern Federal University. So, as uh, you can see, we have a high density of Christines in our uh, research team. So, uh, mathematical modeling of tumor cells growth and death under the influence of drug therapy is important to predict the efficiency of therapy and this allows one to improve patients' specific treatment plans. Currently, there are a series of mathematical models of tumor evolution based on uh, ordinary and partial differential equations. Often, such models are quite complex and include several state parameters. Thus, um, the first article uh, considers a model that includes five state parameters, two types of um, uh, volume fraction of tumor cells, two types of nutrient concentrations, and uh, concentration of immunotherapeutic agents. Uh, model uh, studied in um, the second work includes seven state parameters. Uh, this and other works are devoted to the study of direct problems. We don't know of any work on inverse problem for such models. <laughs> The main uh, goal of the current work is to study an inverse problem, uh, inverse extremal problem for a simplified model of tumor evolution under the influence of drug therapy. Our model uh, consists of um, and includes uh, two, only two state parameters and uh, one control. The theoretical analysis of the optimal control problem was conducted. The numerical algorithm was conducted and implemented. And uh, the developed approaches can be for the generalized to solve inverse extremal problem for more complex models. Let's consider the mathematical uh, model <coughs> of growth and death of tumor cells under the influence of drug therapy in the bounded domain omega with boundary gamma. During the time interval, uh, zero T capital. It consists of um, initial um, value problem for uh, normalized dry concentration, the function as uh, the initial boundary value problem for uh, diffusion equation for normalized density of tumor cells function y. And uh, here uh, you describe the drug supply. Uh, so uh, in the uh, future, you will be considered as, as a control. So, uh, the equation uh, for uh, behavior of drug concentration is uh, standard uh, and known in, uh, uh, from uh, some um, papers. See, for example, the following work and equation for uh, density of 
tumor cells, describe the dynamic of tumor cell density, the structure of reaction term, uh, uh, corresponds to the following work. Uh, the multiplier M is equal in uh, general case uh, by uh, the following relation. And um, uh, this um, uh, relation uh, holds the range of density variation between zero and one. Uh, since uh, we uh, considered the normalized density of tumor cells, the values of um, uh, of um, normalized density of tumor cells um, does not exceed one. So uh, the multiplier d describes the total tumor cells grow if uh, d positive. Uh, we can see the grow. Uh, we describe the grow of tumor cells when d uh, less zero uh, is negative. We uh, describe the death of uh, tumor cells. So, um, uh, as a uh, some approximation, uh, we consider uh, the following uh, linear approximation of function d but in common. Case uh, and for theoretical analysis, we uh, consider that uh, D is a sum Lipschitz function. Uh, here, um, C is a minimal effective drug concentration. So, uh, if uh, S less than SC, then um, uh, anti tumor therapy is not effective and uh, tumor cells grow. The diffusion coefficient in equation two uh, uh, depends on type of uh, tumors, uh, its aggressivity, uh, and in our numerical simulation, we consider the following value of diffusion coefficient following the, uh, this work. So uh, uh, let's consider the behavior of uh, factor M in depends on oh, uh, power M. <laughs> this is uh, uh, not good uh, denotes. Uh, the same denotes I used is not correct. Okay, uh, for different values of um, uh, power M. So uh, uh, red plot corresponds to power equals to six, and uh, um, black plot corresponds to power uh, equals to ten. Uh, and um, these plots uh, are presented in compare with a linear approximation of multiplier m. So. Uh, when uh, we consider a model with the um, uh, presence of um, uh, medication supply, we can consider the linear approximation of function M, uh, because in this case, uh, when uh, the medication uh, uh, taking uh, takes place, um, the volume of um, a tumor density does not exceed one. Oh. Uh, first, uh, I would like to present the results uh, of uh, uh, some numerical example. We consider uh, here and um, uh, further we uh, consider the following computational domain, the square with um, h equal uh, to three centimeter and um, the tumor with maximal density is located in center with uh, a diameter uh, one centimeter. So uh, first animation corresponds uh, to case uh, when uh, we uh, 
uh, don't use some uh, anti-tumor therapy, uh, so without some medication. So, as we can see, uh, the period of observation is equal uh, 26 days. So, for this period, uh, we uh, can see that the tumor uh, became uh, greater. So, the next movie responds uh, to the case of um, the presence of uh, medication taking and um, the same period of observation, 26 uh, days. And um, we selected the parameters of uh, model uh, to ensure um, uh, realistic behavior of uh, tumor dynamics. And um, as we can see, uh, when uh, the density of tumor cells uh, uh, becomes uh, low, uh, due to the structure of reaction stems, the rate of um, tumor degradation uh, decreases. So uh, uh, let's um, go to formalization of um, uh, optimal control problem. Uh, for this, we introduce the space LP as the space of uh, P integrable uh, function, define it on uh, time interval zero P capital with values in Banach space X capital. Uh, also, we consider the space uh, H capital, this is uh, Lebesgue space, and uh, V capital, this is Sobolev uh, space with um, a function with a um, zero boundary condition. So, and uh, we introduce the following state space for uh, uh, definition of uh, solution of uh, initial boundary problem for uh, diffusion equation for the uh, space um, uh, y capital and control space u capital. So, uh, optimal control problem for positive values of lambda is required to minimize the objective, the following objective functional j on uh, function y and u satisfying the following condition. So, uh, this is condition means the uh, that y and u satisfy the initial uh, value problem for drug concentration and boundary value problem for uh, tumor cell density. And uh, also, the, we set the following restrictions, uh, following constraints on uh, <coughs> uh, drug concentration as So, the first uh, uh, constraint uh, means um, that uh, uh, we uh, minimize uh, intoxication of the body, and uh, the second uh, inequality means uh, that we uh, would like provide the uh, enough effectiveness of um, the uh, anti-tumor therapy. Uh, here, the A capital is the following operator defined by the following inequality. And um, uh, following this um, uh, definition of operator A, the uh, equality 5 includes also the zero boundary condition for function Y. Uh, first, uh, uh, consider the properties of problems uh, 4 and 5. Uh, define the operator B capital 
such that uh, by this um, operator equation, we rewrite the um, uh, initial value problem for, for drug concentration. So uh, for a solution lemma, lemma one for solution of initial value problem for drug concentration, the following estimates hold. Uh, this estimates uh, will be useful for us in future when we uh, will uh, prove the solvability of the optimal control problem. Lemma two, uh, there is a unique uh, solution of um, problem five for density of uh, uh, for dynamic of tumor density. And uh, theorem one, uh, let the following inequality hold, then there is a solution of problem P, optimal control problem. So uh, now I, will, I, will, I would like to uh, uh, present some sketch of proof the solubility theorem. Uh, first, we uh, uh, show that the set of control is not empty. For this, we uh, set the following uh, value of uh, control U. And uh, for this, uh, uh, this uh, value of U, uh, the solution of problem form has the following explicit form. And uh, it is easy. Uh, to show uh, to show to show that the following um, uh, function s satisfies the constraints uh, for constraints uh, six for um, drug concentration. So. Uh, Finds the. Uh, so, uh, as a result, the set of uh, control is not empty. Uh, the, uh, further, uh, find the um, uh, objective fun functional is bounded below, and um, uh, the set of control is not empty. Uh, the, uh, there is a sequence y m u m satisfying the following problem and uh, providing fulfillment of the constraint uh, six for um, drug concentration and uh, the following con convergence uh, takes place uh, j the sequence j y m u m tends to infinum uh, of functional j. What is B, B capital in? Uh... B, uh, th th this equality uh, means that S is solution of uh, problem for initial uh, value problem for, uh, for drug concentration. We uh, rewrite uh, this initial value problem in this operator form. Uh, this is, uh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So, uh, the structure of uh, objective functional implies the uh, following estimates form uh, sequence UM and the form uh, uh, by lemma one. Lemma one, where the estimates for uh, drug concentration. Uh, we obtain it, and um, uh, by lemma one, we obtain the following estimates for uh, function SM. Uh, then we uh, consider the first equation in um, nine, uh, multiply in sense of inner product uh, this equation by function uh, y m integrate by pass and taking into account uh, this estimates 
for function s will uh, obtain the following inequality for function y m. Um, then integrating this inequality uh, uh, over uh, time and applying Grunwald lemma, uh, we obtain the estimate for function y m. Based on the obtained estimates for y m s m, uh, we conclude that uh, there exists uh, function u s y such that the following convergences uh, take place. The obtained result on convergences uh, allow us to pass to the limit in nine. Mm -hmm. uh, as a result, we obtain that people y s u uh, satisfy the initial value problem for drug concentration, boundary value problem for tumor density, and uh, 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 constraints uh, condition for constraint conditions for uh, function s for uh, drug concentration. Since uh, functional J is weakly lower than semi continuous, then the uh, chain of uh, following inequalities takes place, and uh, the for the pair YU is the solution of optimal control problem, problem P. So uh, then uh, uh, consider the question as we will um, uh, find um, the approximation of solution of uh, optimal control problem P. For this, uh, we consider the another problem, some reducing of optimal control problem P, the problem, uh, optimal control problem with penalty. Uh, to formalize the problem with penalty, we, first we introduce the constraint operator F uh, such that the uh, equal F from Y S U equal zero means uh, the fulfillment uh, that uh, Y S U uh, satisfied the initial uh, value problem uh, for drug concentration problem for the initial boundary variable problem for tumor density problem five and <laughs> and all oh. uh, and um, consider the following um, uh, problem with penalty problem p epsilon for positive epsilon, it's required to minimize the following objective functional, functional J epsilon. Uh, it consists of the uh, functional J, uh, which we considered uh, uh, when we uh, studied the uh, optimal control problem, problem P. And uh, we also added uh, two uh, integral terms. So uh, uh, the minimum of this functional, functional we um, uh, will find uh, with um, uh, fulfillment of uh, the following uh, condition. Uh, that is the function y s u satisfies the initial value problem for function s a initial boundary value problem for function y. So um, the structure of integral terms uh, provides that for enough small uh, epsilon uh, uh, we uh, provide the fulfillment of a constraint on um, drug concentration S. So, uh, estimates, the, uh, estimates for the solution of problem P, uh, which we obtain above, 
uh, make it possible to prove the solvability of the problem P epsilon, problem with penalty, similar to, to the proof of theorem one. Uh, theorem two, a solution of problem P epsilon exists, and uh, then consider the approximation properties of solution of the problem with a penalty. Uh, this approximation problem uh, properties uh, means that uh, we uh, can uh, consider the solution of um, uh, problem uh, with penalty as some approximation of the original optimal control problem, problem P. The theorem three, if um, triple Y epsilon S epsilon U epsilon is a solution of problem P epsilon. Then the exist a sequence epsilon tends to zero such that the following convergences take place. So where Y is a solution of problem. So the sequence of solution of problem uh, P epsilon tends to um, solution of problem P when S epsilon uh, tends to zero. Catch of proof. Uh, let Y U be a solution of problem P. Uh, science uh, drug concentration satisfies the uh, constraint condition C. Six, uh, then uh, the following inequality takes place. Uh, from this inequality, we uh, can easily to obtain uh, the following two inequalities, 11. And uh, from first inequality from 11, uh, it follows that u epsilon uh, less than the constant C. And uh, similarly to the proof of theorem one, we derive the following estimates for function S epsilon and Y epsilon. So, uh, so from 11, from obtained estimates, uh, it follows that there are function U, S, Y hats such that the following convergences takes place. The obtained results on convergences allow us to pass to the limit in the equality uh, for um, constraint operator. And as a result, we obtain the following relation. It means that uh, Y as U had satisfied the initial uh, value problem for drug concentration is and uh, initial boundary value problem for uh, tumor density y. Uh, moreover, the following uh, convergences uh, take place and um, uh, take into account the estimates 11. Uh, it is to show that um, these limits are equal to zero. These limits are equal to zero. And therefore, uh, the constraint uh, for function S um, uh, hat holds. Uh, thus, the pair uh, Y hat, U hat is admissible for problem P, for original optimal control problem. And science. Um, uh, and since uh, the uh, uh, chain of um, uh, following inequality takes place, then uh, y hat u hat is a solution of original problem, problem P. So to construct the optimality system, we use the Lagrange principle of smooth convex external problems. To establish the no degeneracy of the optimality condition, we show that the image of the derivative of the state constraint operator coincides with the uh, space W. Uh, 
As a result, we obtain the following uh, optimality system. It uh, consists of uh, the initial value problem for S epsilon, the initial boundary value problem for Y epsilon, uh, to equation of uh, dual system for uh, function P1 and uh, P2, and um, uh, equality for uh, U epsilon. So on the base of the following of optimality system, we construct the uh, numerical iterative algorithm to find the solution of uh, the uh, problem P epsilon with penalty as some approximation of the original uh, optimal control problem, problem P. Uh, let's consider the, and discuss the, uh, some results of numerical experiments. We uh, considered the uh, following input data. Uh, period of uh, time observation is equal to 28 days. The following value of um, parameter epsilon, uh, critical uh, value of uh, Critical value of uh, drug concentration is equal zero point two, and uh, uh, lower and upper bounds of, for uh, drug concentration is selected as follows. So the behavior of objective functional during the ten iterations is demonstrated here. And we can see the uh, monotonic. Uh, decrease of uh, yeah, in uh, objective functional. So uh, the behavior of um, the uh, control, uh, that means the uh, medication taking is demonstrated here. The dot uh, plots is uh, uh, obtained value of um, control of uh, drug supply and uh, red plot uh, is a um, continuous approximation. So we can see that at the beginning of treatment, uh, we uh, need to use the uh, high level of uh, medication taking. Then uh, the um, medication uh, stabilized and uh, after two weeks uh, uh, there was some correction. So, so uh, this result um, can be considered as uh, some scenario of um, uh, medication taking uh, uh, to fulfill anti-tumor therapy. So uh, this figure demonstrates uh, the behavior of um, uh, drug concentration uh, during all period of observation. Uh, the blue plot, um, red lines uh, corresponds to lower and upper bounds um, in constraint six for drug concentration. Uh, since uh, we um, uh, use uh, not um, enough small value of parameter epsilon, uh, 0 0.2, the uh, constraints uh, six, uh, constraints six uh, uh, didn't uh, uh, didn't uh, hold, uh, but uh, nevertheless, the volume of um, drug concentration is uh, significantly greater than uh, critical uh, value, uh, critical level of drug concentration. So, and uh, here we can see the dynamic of um, tumor density du during all periods of observation in uh, uh, 
center cross section of the computational domain. So the uh, blue plot corresponds the initial uh, distribution of tumor density. Red plot uh, corresponds to case uh, the distribution in uh, after one week, uh, black plot after two weeks, and so on. So uh, we can see the monotonic decrease in uh, tumor density. So some conclusion, the theoretical analysis of the optimal control problem for the model of tumor evolution and that the influence of drug therapy was conducted. The numerical algorithm was constructed and implemented. It can be applied to the predict the efficiency of anti-tumor therapy and to improve treatment plans and for the efforts of the process will be aimed at generalizing the results uh, to the case of more complex models of tumor evolution, including several states parameters. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you very much for very optimistic talk. <laughs> I, I mean, the, the, the final pictures look very optimistic, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, nevertheless, could you return to the original statement uh, uh, to clarify the meaning of um, parameter Y? The, uh, the original uh, statement. Uh, initial, uh, initial bound. Yes, uh, right, right, right. What is, once again, what is Y? It's concentration of tumor cells yeah, the, the density the normalized density of tumor cell uh, of tumor cell uh, and uh, we consider that um, maximum level is equal to one so it uh, the bounds uh, from uh, one, uh, from zero to one the function y uh -huh. the range uh -huh. and MY is, excuse me, what, what M, uh, MY uh, is multiplier. Uh, the following form, but uh, uh, when we solve the uh, optimal control problem, uh, since we uh, ha um, have the uh, presence of uh, drug, we consider linear approximation MY uh, equals to Y. Uh -huh. Uh, some uh, some uh, presentation also uh, take uh, trace for some models with uh, this multiplier also no. So in principle, the behavior of tumor is described by equation two. Mm -hmm. it, it looks uh, too simple, <laughs> I suspect. It is just... It, it's too simple for us uh, when we solve the initial boundary value problem, but uh, mm -hmm. it's not uh, simple uh, when we solve the optimal control problem. And uh, uh, as I said, this is first step to... I consider and, uh, the more complex models and generalize this approach for more complex problems mm -hmm. and for more complex models. This uh, we uh, developed some technique and some approaches when we can generalize uh, for uh, more complex models. And one more question is uh, dependence for, on uh initial data y0, uh, the, the result shows that uh, uh, in principle, the, uh, the tumor cells, uh, the concentration of the tumor cells decreases uh, regardless of this uh, y0. For any y zero, you guarantee the 
optimistic result that uh, any y zero may be reduced to to zero something something like this no optimistic no mathematically <laughs> we consider that um, y zero um, include to Lebesgue space L2 and uh, optimistic scenarios uh, provide the structure of um, the uh, reaction term reaction term and uh, the behavior of uh, function uh, ds but the final result doesn't depend on y0 in principle uh, commonly uh, uh, doesn't depend commonly uh -huh. very optimistic <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you uh, uh, okay this is some uh, numerical example uh, because um, uh, tumor uh, is um, different and uh, differ from uh, with respect to aggressivity and uh, in um, uh, each case uh, we need uh, scaling the parameters of model and um, uh, sure, sure. fit it mm -hmm. to realistic uh, case. But uh, our uh, numerical uh, simulation uh, uh, look, uh, look uh, enough uh, realistic. Maybe optimistic, but uh, it's uh, not best. Okay. Uh, thank you. More questions, comments, please. Uh, okay. And I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, could you please clarify the meaning of the constraint uh, S minus? So in the optimal problem, yes, uh, constraint six, uh, that S should be greater than S minus. Why do we need this? Uh, okay, uh, um, it means that we would like to provide um, uh, enough uh, effective uh, anti-tumor therapy because uh, um, uh, then uh, as great as then uh, uh, the uh, therapy more effective, but um, uh, because, for example, there is uh, some critical uh, value of uh, S. Uh, if S less than SC, then uh, uh, therapy not effective. Uh, and uh, we, for this, we uh, selected the um, uh, lower uh, bounds for s uh, greater than uh, critical value uh, I, I think that uh, it means that uh, uh, homeopathy therapy may be not efficient <laughs> гомеопатия может быть неэффективной <laughs> если очень маленькие дозы то не помогает вот s минус это имеет вот такой смысл Maybe. Yeah. This is normalized. Uh, in the case of homeopathy, we can um, to fulfill the corresponding scaling and uh, uh, small values uh, in this scale are considered. So maybe also uh, if S uh, doesn't satisfy this constraint, then the model uh, is not uh, correct. Maybe the whole model, well. Any model is simplification, sure. Maybe, maybe. why not? Ah, oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. OK. Very good job, very good talk. And now uh, 